Inspirations, Beliefs, The Angels The history of angels is reflected in the sacred texts that guide all of the monotheistic religions from the Middle East. Angels were born from the Word of God to serve and adore Him. They are beautiful, luminous, and full of virtue. But some rebelled and were thrown out from heaven. They formed a legion of spirits of darkness and evil. The celestial creatures that remain with God are divided into different groups and hierarchies. Christianity refers to nine groups of angels, subdivided into three hierarchies. The seraphim, cherubim, and thrones form the first hierarchy. The second includes the dominations, virtues, and powers. The last hierarchy is made up of the principalities, archangels, and angels. First hierarchy, seraphim, the highest hierarchy of angels. They are the closest to God and surround His throne, adoring Him and singing His praises. They transmit the understanding of pure love to humans. These angels are represented singing or playing musical instruments. Cherubim. The Archangel Gabriel oversees this group. They represent understanding and knowledge. These angels are divided into two groups. Higher Cherubim, which sustain and keep creation, and Lower Cherubim, who protect the sacred and secret places. They are depicted as chubby angels with wings. Thrones or Wheels These work with the powers of creation and life. Their impulses are two, and they turn one to the right and the other to the left in accordance to human polarity. They are represented as chariots or wheels of fire. Second Hierarchy Dominations The ruler is the Archangel Raphael. Healers of the physical, emotional, and mental conditions, they transmit healing techniques and knowledge. They protect hospitals and meditation centers and promote optimism, truth, concentration, and perfection. They praise beauty, education, and the arts and are represented holding a sphere or a scepter as a symbol of authority. Virtues, very small and numerous. They carry God's answers to extreme situations. Since they can transform matter, it is said that they are responsible for miracles. They swiftly grant spiritual energy, strength, and grace. Because they are many and fast, they are represented as winged faces. Powers The Archangel Michael is the Prince of Archangels and Commander of God's Army, which is made up of angels from this group. Also from this group is the guardian angel that accompanies us during all our life, and the angel of death who helps us separate from this plane. These are warrior angels who reconcile opposites, light and darkness, good and evil. It is up to them to ensure that evil never overcomes goodness, usually represented wearing a shield. The Third Hierarchy Principalities these are directed by the Archangel Uriel. They are the guardians of the various species, groups, countries, neighborhoods, religions, etc. They appear in moments of desperation and promote calm behavior and loss of fear in dangerous situations. Their virtues are service, provision, serenity, peace, and psychosomatic healing. Angels, high-ranking spirits and beings of light known for perfection, logic, justice, compassion, and love. They were created by God to adore Him and follow His will in the universe. These are God's messengers, the liaison between the divine and the human. Their work is to watch over the spiritual growth of humans. Because they are incorporeal beings, asexual and immortal, they can appear in front of us as men, women, or any other type of energy. Archangels these are angels of light and messengers of the divine decrees sent by God to mankind. They are considered the principal mediators between the Creator and humanity. They command the legions of heaven that fight against evil. The prince of the archangels is Michael. They have free will and can appear without being invoked. There are seven according to tradition, and each one has a day of the week. Sunday, Archangel Michael, he who is like God. He is the ruler of powers and potentates. His virtues against adversity are faith, power, strength, and balance. 
protects children and the forsaken against physical and spiritual danger, an enemy of injustice, lies, and pride. Colors, blue and red. Monday, Archangel Jophiel, Beauty of God, promotes wisdom, knowledge, and eloquence, acts to create understanding among people, guides students to succeed in examinations, helps in overcoming addictions, colors, yellow and gold. Tuesday, Archangel Samuel, He Who Sees God, frees people from jealousy, envy and resentment, helps humans develop self-esteem, can mend broken relationships and helps during a job search, colors pink and orange. Wednesday, Archangel Gabriel, God is my strength, represents persistence, discipline, beauty and creativity. His virtues are purity, resurrection and ascension, provides protection to pregnant women and attracts good company, dispels falsehood and provides solace in moments of sadness and depression. Colors, white and silver. Thursday, Archangel Raphael, God has healed. He is God's doctor and represents healing of the ailments of the soul and the body. His virtues include making truth and optimism a way of life and dissipating mistrust, provides inspiration for education and intellectual growth. Color, green. Friday, Archangel Uriel, God's fire. His virtues are peace, harmony, and fortune. He contributes to fast and positive changes, cures psychosomatic ailments, helps in solving conflicts of spiritual growth. Color, gold. Saturday, Archangel Zadkiel, Justice of God, works on transmutation, forgiveness, and mercy, stimulates repentance, and frees us from painful memories promotes tolerance, happiness, and freedom of spirit. He inspires scientists, politicians, and artists. Color, purple.